And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can put images and text into perspective. Sadly, this doesn't work for videos. As far as I know, there is no way currently in CapCut to transform a video into this 3D perspective. But we can use a video and then export a certain frame of it. What we need is to select it, go to animation combo and then scroll down until you find the flip options. Pick one, you can hover over them and see the effect shortly. So the direction is important. I'll use this one flip four. You may have to download it first, but once it's there, left click on it and it should be applied to your clip. Before you can create a freeze frame with this animation, you have to create a compound clip though. So right click, create compound clip. And now you can use a freeze frame right here. Left click on it. And it has this perspective. Let me add a second one, maybe with this perspective. Again, freeze. Delete the rest. And now we can layer this on top. And you can see how this works for still images, freeze frames. Once again, there is no way currently to have a video running in this perspective. But we can use the same principle for text. So let me add the original clip again and I add a default text on top. I call that perspective. Let me use a different font. You have to be careful with the scaling though. When you scale it too big, it's going to get cut off on the sides. So it's a good idea to keep the scaling small at first and then scale it up after you've applied the perspective effect. But let me show you. To use the same animation, we'll have to do We'll have to turn this into a compound clip first. So right click yet again, compound clip. And now it's a video and we can go to animation combo and there's the flip. And here the letters get cut off on the sides. It depends on the font that you use, the size and also which flipping. So there is only guessing and then pressing control Z if that was too big and then go down. Let me try 16 maybe. Do it again, create compound clip. Animation combo flip. And we're almost there, but it still cuts it off a little bit. So let me go down even further. I press Ctrl Z until I've got my text element back. Let me try 14. That should be fine. Once again, right click, create compound clip, animation combo flip 4. And now that looks fine. Problem is that we can't now create a compound clip on a compound clip. So we can't really use our freeze frames as this would take away the animation. Let me show you. So I use a freeze frame and now the text is not in perspective anymore. So press Ctrl Z. Instead, we'll have to export this as a still frame. We can do that up here. But maybe I'll use this perspective right here. It's a little bit more extreme and I scale it up. And now I export this still frame. Just memorize the number. I've got it on my desktop and now I import it. I import it to my media, obviously. Let me delete this one. And here it is now black background, so I have to fix the blend. Just use a screen mode and that should do. Not perfect though when it comes to the resolution, it skews a little bit with the font. So my advice would be if you've got access to Photoshop, use that. You may want to look into GIMP if you want to use an open source alternative to put in text into perspective. But if you only have CapCut, this is the way you could do it. And as you can see, it's not a perfect result though. But not bad either. I hope my video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.